Okay, here we go. Oh, this this might work. Okay, that's better, yeah. Uh, no, it went away. No, don't do that. Just do that. Thank you. Okay, all right. Uh, the setup that I have going on here with uh, to get a Zoom call going to the stream as well as my own camera on myself uh, is a giant mess. So apologies for, for that, um, viewers. Uh, so now that Marina can see what's on the screen, <laughs> um, is any of that classical? Uh, yeah, so um, there, I, well, I like the dog and the crab. These are motifs that show up on Greek pots, kind of um, decoratively, but also interestingly. Uh, but yeah, they don't um, uh, exactly... <laughs> ring a bell as to a specific uh, pot that I know. I feel like that question mark is telling me that I should be doing something. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, I think that's Amy, Amy Pistone. Yeah, she's saying that um, I'm better at the computer than you. That is absolutely not true. <laughs> oh. uh, I would not be able to do this. I, I, I stream like not super regularly. So my, and my streaming setup is not the most, um, like I don't have a, a, a stream deck or anything like that. Um, so it's sort of like hacked together in a relatively cheap way because it's not like what I do is sort of a, a main day job or anything. So, uh, yes, it's a little bit, uh, funky at the back end and I always have to remind myself of how to do it. Uh, so which one of these should we go into? Should we go into the dog, or the crab, or oh, the uh, horse, the, the dog, or the snake? Yeah, right. Dog. Ah, ah. <laughs> eee! All right. Okay, I can platform. All right, into the. Oh, oh God. Uh, was the dog the first one? Oh, I think I see what's up here. These are different ones now. We've got yeah. Um, that dog is still there. The dog is still there. Oh my god. All right. I see. So this is... Okay. Horse, pig. Let's try going horse, pig, dog. Because I think this is just going to be the same, isn't it? There's the dog. Who knows where this can... Oh, eagle. Horse. All right, I'm going in the horse. I'm doing it. Uh, I'm still gonna try pig. If there's a pig. Uh, I hope there's a pig. No, there's no pig. <laughs> ah, lost. Okay, so welcome to this three hour stream of uh, trying to get through. <laughs> oh, this thing. Well, okay. We're stuck in Hades. Yeah, this is hell. Uh, <laughs> dolphin, octopus, Snake. Octopus. Snake. Dolphin. I'm going to try the dolphin. So I, I like the colors. Um, it's it's uh, of course not what you would find on a on a Athenian pot. I'm going to say most of the images that we're looking at are Athenian so far that I've noticed. Um, and uh, should I say something about black figure pottery? Yes, you just, yep, okay. totally. <laughs> so uh, what this is, is it's actually a, a Pan-Hellenic style. Uh, so not just Athens uses black figure. In fact, it seems to have been developed in Corinth and uh, just sort of moved out uh, to the other regions um, across the Aegean. And uh, what they do in Athens in particular is uh, the, the clay in Athens is naturally kind of reddish orange. And uh, the black is an application of fine slip, which turns black after firing. So when you look at Athenian pottery and you see the sort of orange and black, the part that's painted is the black part. Um, so in black figure, you paint the figures, they turn black, and then after the pot is fired, 
Uh, you can put on other colors. So there is polychromy. Uh, you can paint uh, the normal things or sort of a reddish purple added color and uh, white is really important. Uh, white is added for the flesh of the women because there's a gender color convention. The men are left the black color and women are distinguished by uh, the white of their uh, arms and legs and faces. Um, and unfortunately, since this color is added after it's fired, uh, a lot of times the color doesn't last. So you will see some pots that are in worse preservation, which have um, the white of the, the female skin rubbed off, but uh, it was meant to be there, you have to imagine. But uh, a lot of it is really, really detailed. And uh, a lot of the interior detail of the figures is scratched in or incised with a really small uh, pointed implement. Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's so, very, labor in very labor intensive. So it sounds like uh, it sounds like the game audio is not coming through. <laughs> uh, fun, fun, fun. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna really quick like uh, transition out, and we'll be back in a in a second after I add another audio track. <laughs> ah, whoops! No, you go there. No, <laughs> you go there. Ah, do that. Just do that. Okay. Okay, all right, I'm just gonna add this track first. Uh, game, uh, audio output capture. Audio output capture, capture the, I think that. Oh, do I need desktop audio? Maybe I just need desktop audio. Okay, let's see if that works. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm seeing anything on the desktop audio. <laughs> uh, thank you for telling me which one I needed to go through. I was like, I knew what I had to do because of the tooltip, but um, uh, why is this not? Um, uh, when we come back, Amy has a, a question for me. I'll answer. Yeah, we're back. Uh, I oh, just we are. like. I'm, <laughs> try, I can't see the bottom of my of my chat. Uh, can you hear the um? Can you hear the audio now? I don't think you'll be able to, but the game audio. It should be kind of a creaking, whistling. I personally can't. Um, all I have is a black screen on the screen that you're sharing. Oh yeah, sorry. I it was because as soon as yeah, because of the <laughs> the thing. Oh, okay. That, um, I mean, that, that's, yep. that's, I there's. Um, you can. Oh, okay. You can't. Okay. Uh, should I go ahead and answer Amy's question? Yeah, you could, yeah go ahead. Okay. So uh, yeah, so uh, Amy's asking if. Uh, there's a rationale for why the women would be uh, specifically colored white uh, and the men left uh, that uh, black slip color. Um, yeah, so I, I, think, uh, I think it is uh, pretty much assumed that in general the women would be confined to the home, uh, which sounds familiar for all of us right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so they would uh, get less sun uh, there was the idea that it was uh, pretty, you know, masculine to get the, the bronzed uh, tan color. So that's talked about uh, in some texts um, uh, as far as uh, being uh, a Greek ideal of uh, athletes being outside practicing and that kind of thing. And uh, there is uh, another, what is it? I think it's um yeah there's a, a contrast made uh with persians who aren't in the sun all the time and and that scene is sort of effeminate uh if you're not tan 
but uh, in the art, of course, uh, we don't want to assume that there's a necessarily a, a just so story, um, realistic explanation. Uh, it, it is sort of symbolic overall, but yeah, you, you can trace it to some of those ideals. If, um, so if this color was on a vase, how would they have got that? Like this kind of bluey thing. Oh, the blue, um, well, they could, uh, I guess it could be, uh, added color. Um, normally the added color is the, the purplish red and the, and the white, but there, there are other, uh, possibilities, I suppose. Um. On white ground uh, lecithoi, there's a lot of other added color, and sometimes there are yellows and greenish and blues as well. So uh, these would be colors that are added after firing, and so they don't preserve very well. But you don't find them on black figures so much. Mm. Uh, but yeah, you do you do see them on uh, other techniques. Oh. Okay, if I switch this over. Uh, any further luck on the game audio now? Let me flick this back here, I think. I feel like, um, I feel like I fiddled with everything I could possibly find, and it seems like I might. It seems like I'm getting some good levels now, but it's hard to say. Yeah, I want to hear the pirate uh, voices. I know. Yeah, I want to hear the pirate voices too. The British voices. <laughs> oh God. Um, all right, let me try again. Sorry about this, everyone. Um, I have two. Are those just oh uh, those are just giving me the same thing never mind okay uh so we're still on if you want to um talk about anything else marina oh okay um well it, i don't know how much uh people uh how much people saw of the little beginning when when uh you have those sort of black figure um gods and goddesses passing by um uh, that was kind of cute. It's sort of like a, a little primer of how to recognize uh, gods and goddesses based on their, uh, what we would call, uh, attributes. So the Hermes is pretty recognizable because he wears the traveler's hat, the, the pilos, the little sort of pointed cap. And uh, he normally carries that uh, caducus. Sometimes he has I guess winged sandals. He doesn't have his own wings, um, but uh, he's recognizable. Dionysus, uh, if I remember, uh, they had him carrying a thyrsus, which is this uh, long staff with a what looks like a pine cone kind of thing um, on the top, uh, which is, I guess, a bunch of ivy leaves. Um, yeah, I was I was really impressed with those as well. I think they did a just a really good job of, of of sort of indicating that that thing that we teach students in first year myth courses that you can like identify all of these gods like really quickly, often. Yeah, yeah. Normally, the the tough one uh, to identify is Ares because he's just sort of shown as a generic hoplite, especially <laughs> in the period uh, that this game is, seems to be borrowing from the images most, which is. I guess the the late sixth century, um, or, or even yeah, the sixth century in general on black figure pots, uh, uh, Aries just looks like a, a generic hoplite. Um, on the Francois vase, which is uh, a crater that was found in in an Etruscan tomb, it's in Florence now. Uh, this is the the famous pot that has all the inscriptions on it, so all the gods and goddesses are labeled and 
even a tripod is labeled tripod. Um, I think there's a, a stone uh, that's just sort of a rock in the in the scene, and it's labeled lithos. You know, so uh, all of those labels are pretty good. But yeah, the Aries, uh, we know who he is because he's labeled. But yeah, he looks pretty generic uh, compared to the others. What am I looking here for, for uh, people? <laughs> I, like, I thought it might have been the eagle. Oh, uh, oh, was yeah. A dog. Are, you're supposed to be looking for one of those animals. Was it a snake? Yeah, uh, no, the horse. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see the. Ch I, why is the. Ch why is nothing working today? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, for some reason, my chat is not. Um, I can't bust the chat window out in this. Ah, okay, and I just closed it down. All right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Amy, Amy's asking if the water is getting progressively deeper. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, am, I am failing to uh, um, recognize, oh, to, to play the memory game. Um, okay, here we go. Chair settings. Can I bust this? Can I just pop this out? No, I have it here. I just yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna have to go back down. Uh, we have oh, yeah, horse, yeah. octopus, eagle, snake, dog. Uh, what's the other one we haven't seen? That we we have seen. The, we, there was a pig. Did we? Oh, the pig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, where is the Octopus was on there. Dog. Eagle, that was on there. Okay, so it's not on this side. We Snake. Horse. Wait. One, two. Did I miss one? Dog. Snake. Horse. Dog. Fish. Fish. Fish wasn't on there. We're going through the fish. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> wait do you, do you have to get do you have to get all of them no I have to like go through the one that's not there that's what the question mark is for oh I see which okay. I only know because the game gave me a hint <laughs> puzzle games right okay so it could be a fish or it could be a dog Uh, I'm gonna look for a fish and a dog. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is so big. <laughs> ah! Oh, what was that? Uh, that was like a like a some sort of ghost. Here's a dog. I found a dog. Okay. Yay! Ah! <laughs> I'm going through the dog. <laughs> oh god! All right. Okay. Escape. Yeah, I know you, you guys have been scribing in the chat, but the, my, that's why I've been looking over at my chat and trying to get it to expand. For some reason, the window was not working right, and so I couldn't see the bottom ones. I could only see some past events. All right. It's, it's, it's more hectic than I thought it was good. <laughs> yeah, but wait, I did I? Oh, no, I did get... Okay, right, right, right. I'm just trying to remember what the, the objective here is. So we are supposed to be going through the various... Uh, Rivers of sticks, uh, so that we can open the gate to Hades. So I went through that successfully, eventually, somehow. Thank you, everybody. And uh, now I have to find the next one. And I, something's gonna let me through these doors at some point. Oh, how do I get down? There we go. Uh, so where's? Oh no, is there a zoom in map of Hades? No, maybe not. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my god. <laughs> How do I stop being on the map? That map oh, is pretty... Uh, okay. It was pretty what, sorry? I, I like it. Oh, just pretty, yeah. <laughs> Let me get back to it. <laughs> yeah. I like the I like the overlapping of the, the hills. Yeah. Some of that 
Like some of these arches seem this some of this looks a little more Roman to me than Oh Greek. Is that Oh yeah, that, that Ares thing doesn't ring a bell. I bet that's well. an arena. Yeah. If there's, if there's one thing that classical games like, it's putting arenas in everything no matter what the period. Yeah, actually when you were playing uh last, last time I, I remember one of the boys was saying something about an arena and I thought, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These are hoplites, not gladiators. Whatever. Yeah. It's but definitely one of those things that just, uh, his... People uh, think the ancient world and they think they think arenas. Oh, that was a cool griffin. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little Minoan-y, but yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah, orientalizing period, uh, animal style, proto-Corinthian kind of deal. I always think of griffins as being more, um, like, uh, Persian? Uh-huh, yes. They're, um, they're adapted from Eastern motifs. So, uh, in the 7th century, the, the 600s BCE, uh, we call that the Orientalizing period because that's when the, um, the Greeks are, you know, colonizing and traveling around and trading, etc. Uh, and they start uh, by the by the 600s. They start adapting Eastern motifs for sure. So uh, directly from Phoenician bulls, which are also influenced by Persia, etc. Um, uh, the, the Phoenician, uh, uh, yeah, metal, metal, uh, silver bowls, etc., are very kind of Egyptianizing, Persianizing. Uh, so yeah, any of those things they yeah. start. All right, and I know we talked about this, uh, like, uh, off air, the <laughs> smash everything to get stuff motif. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, lock picks. <laughs> okay, somewhere up here is going to be... Oh, here we go. Oh! Oh! Yikes. Uh, I got to do that roll thing. Yeah, it's more it's more for light than I don't think I'm using it as a weapon. No, oh my god. Okay, I gotta like I feel like when I oh there we go, finally. I feel like when I rolled past him I was rolling too far. Alright. Whoa, rivers of blood. Oh that looks bad. Did I Ah <laughs> I don't wanna go in the river of blood, Scud man! You go in the river of blood, I'm going to Acheron. Alright, what new hell awaits? Ah, uh, that doesn't look good. Uh, maybe it does. I think I might, I feel like I'm going to die. No? Okay, alright. No, don't die. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay, so I have to sit on the train thing while it... What, what is that thing? Uh, it's a, it's a, um, it's weighing down the, it's some sort of lever to open the door, so now I bet I have to run really quickly through this. Oh, no, okay, alright, I just had to sit on it for a while. I bet that will come back to haunt me later. Mmm, blood. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, a real sense of foreboding about this situation. So, uh, yeah, there is blood in uh, Greek pottery. It's usually um, put in and added purple. So, uh, yeah, that is something that you would find. It wouldn't be quite as red as this one looks, but... Yeah, I feel like I've seen I've seen that in a few uh, pots and I'm always kind of impressed. Yeah, definitely. Ah, okay. Okay, I need to remember how to... Ah, uh, terrible with this. I, f I thought... Ah. Oh no. Okay. Is that guy... Where? <laughs> Hard to tell. <laughs> Who's who? 
but you're fighting some some ghosts. Uh, yeah, I think these are skeletons. Oh, right on. Um, but I've got to stay on this. And now I can't remember how that. There we go. <laughs> Bonk on the head. <laughs> I gotta not get knocked off this platform. Ah, do I have a different? Yeah, take that. While I wait for this door to go up. Okay, there we go. But I want to get through this thing. I feel like I should be able to get through there. But I guess not. That looks tasty, that treasure. I want that, want that hop like curious. Um, it's, a little, it's a little hard to see the details. I might expand my screen, but then I'll lose the, the chat. Um, yeah, that's better. I can see what's going on. Better. Oh. Oh. Oh, I found a lockbox. All right. There's definitely a lot about this kind of game, particularly the back and forward stuff and the fact that he follows where the mouse is looking that I find that I haven't really fully uh, found intuitive yet. Say, oh, okay, I need another platform. Oh. Oh, sweet. Did you get that Gorgon shield? It looks oh, a bit. Yay. <laughs> yeah, that looks exactly like um, uh, a Tondo in a cup. So, in oh, yeah. the, the bottom of a Dreaky cup, you would have a circular uh, composition, and often you would find uh, Gorgon faces like this. A sort of a. A uh, warning. It doesn't look doesn't look exactly like one that I know, but uh, as a warning to not drink so much, or um, maybe uh, to ward off the evil if you have uh, drank too much already. Um, <laughs> so yeah, definitely apotropic function, and yeah, you do find them on shield motifs as well, of course. Uh, we do have. Um, yeah, some shields dedicated. There's a, a Gorgon um, motif on a shield that was dedicated at Olympia. So, uh, yeah, keep it up there. All right. Eesh, all right. Ooh, ah, oops. Oh, I want that. Eee, I can't get it. Oh, I can. Sweet. Or do I want that? Is that the same thing as I have? Nah, are those the same, I wonder? Uh, well, too late now. I guess I've got a snake instead of a gorgon now. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we do find uh, snake motifs on, on uh, shields that are uh, on pottery. So there's there's a huge variety of shield motifs that's pretty cool uh, that we find, um, at least illustrated. Yeah, that, that one uh, looks kind of like a, a, a Spartan a Laconian cup snake that I know, oh. but there's there's a lot of different ones. Alright, I feel like I'm getting the hang of this getting attacked by skeletons while staying on a platform nonsense. Haha, <laughs> just in time to end it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I do find this representation of Hades quite compelling, and from a gameplay perspective, at least, because it's it's pretty terrible <laughs> in the in the hard sense, not in the bad sense necessarily. Oh, I've got to got to turn the lights on. I'm glad these uh these waterfalls of blood don't put out my shield. Uh, don't don't put out my torch. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I like how they did the landscape. Um, mm -hmm. They're uh, yeah. keeping it. Uh, convincingly black figure really get him uh. lay him low yeah lay him low, <laughs> lay him low. <laughs> yeah I need to find some humans again these guys are much less talkative than Statue. I'm trying to get a. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. 
I feel like I uh Human bone? <laughs> uh, it's probably mine. <laughs> ah. Ah, it's with this mine. Ah. <laughs> the death animations are pretty um, are pretty funny. I do quite like them. Uh, so did I already complete that objective? I think I did. Oh, uh, I need my need my torch out again. Alright, let's try that again. I can't reliably change between the stabbing forward and the cutting down. It's causing me some issues in combat, I've got to say. And I don't have the ingredients for that. Uh, okay. Smashing things! It's hard to see the details, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, just do my best. Yeah, this... Uh, yeah, so I was going to say about uh, the, the scenes and the landscapes. Uh, so there are a little bit of uh, sort of abbreviated architectural uh, things that we find on Black Figure. So like again on the Francois vase uh, by Clydeus and Ergotimas from around 570 uh, BCE, uh, there is... Um, I guess the wedding of Peleus and Thetis, there's a uh, sort of column and then a little bit of, uh, I think there's some brick of a wall to show that they, uh, the Theosos has uh, come to the, the lodgings of Peleus and Thetis. Uh, so you, you get little, little pieces, maybe just like a column and then a little wall to show that there's a, a house or something more. Um, you get, what else? Mountain houses, which is pretty neat. So you'll just see some columns with maybe um, lion headed spigots. Um, and yeah, sometimes uh, little pediments for those. But yeah, not a whole lot of uh, natural stuff. Like we're seeing these interesting looking rocky formations. Oh, this. no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Uh, oh, I accidentally switched to my bow, which means I had to put down my torch. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is not the way I want to go. Uh, you skeletons. Are we lost? Um, uh, that would imply that I knew where I was in the first place, I think. <laughs> <laughs> into any of the, uh, the, uh, I guess, uh, the figures that are uh, stuck in Hades, uh, or depicted as being stuck in Hades, like Sisyphus and, and those guys. Yeah, well, once we get into Hades, I think we might. Oh, that'd be cool. Because we're in, we're trying to get down to Hades at the moment. Um, oh, okay, okay. And theoretically, we're doing this so that um, uh, we can get something of Demeter's from Persephone. So, we should at least meet them. <laughs> uh, oops, no, I don't want to go through there, I want to go down here. Ah, well, maybe I do want to go up there. Oh. All right. Here we go, another another puzzly space. Oh. Yeah, so these rock formations, um, where you see the sort of very thin white line, so that sort of is 
uh, recreating what the inc incised lines in the black slip would look like. So yeah, just these sort of hard, um, scratched in uh, interior detail of things. So that that's really possible, and I I like how they did that. Um, I know of one rock formation. It is the Sisyphus uh, black figure uh, pot I'm thinking of. And yeah, it's just a sort of big, uh, abbreviated, um, pointy <laughs> hill. Not to scale whatsoever, but yeah, it's sort of lumpy, sort of like this. No. <laughs> Nervous! Oh. All right, I got I got stuck with a terrible weapon, fighting a whole lot of dudes with what seemed to be excellent weapons. <laughs> These people really don't want me in their on their boat. Yeah, they're resisting <laughs> presence. Ah, <laughs> <A> fork! Haha. <laughs> Now we see the, the tactical advantage of this the Athenian warrior. <laughs> uh, yikes. Uh, more dudes. No! Uh, yeah, I guess weapons get destroyed. Get out there. <laughs> yeah, uh, Puzzle Sheep said there's something a little dark about a pottery person running around smashing pots. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's sort of a self destructive. <laughs> yeah. Capitalistic somehow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm I'm a historian, not an archaeologist, but I still have the same sort of gut reaction when I am asked to be smashing arche archaeological artifacts while I'm playing. I gotta say. Yeah, it's um. Uh, Smash all the things. Nobody will want this in two thousand years. Just destroyed that awesome looking crater. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I think I've only got one more river to go and then we can hopefully leave Hades, or hopefully Hades itself will be a little bit more pleasant if Persephone's in charge. Why isn't Hades pleasant? I know, right? <laughs> I can't smash wheelbarrows apparently. What does this say? And then she calls the most dreadful and cruel year for mankind over the all nourishing earth. I do, I really do like the way they've included all these um, uh, little quotes from ancient sources throughout. I wonder if anyone has gone through and, and found the, uh, the translations, like which translations these are from. Yeah, it's too small for me to read, unfortunately. It's a uh, warmth. Oh. I can mm. feel the warmth where soul. Stay away from me. Nope. Super uh, skeletons. The oh. different levels is pretty cool too, because it reminds me of, uh, yeah, I guess, um, the East Greek style. Uh, uh, 7th century and also uh, the Proto-Corinthian uh, 7th century orientalizing style the uh, the decoration is arranged in bands with the sort of uh, sometimes meander but other designs in the borders uh, separating each uh, animal freeze and so yeah it's sort of um, 
imitates that a little bit. Oh. Yeah, I like that. All right. We got statues there. Let's see what they are. Uh, I think they're trumpet players. Uh, wait, I can push a button to scroll up a little bit. Here we go. Are they just mirror images that are like a male trumpet player with a bit of an Apollo hairdo? Yeah, they don't ring a bell to me. Is that a volcano? It's kind of cool. Yeah, I think we're in the, the fiery parts. Yikes. Okay, all right. I don't want to fight you, dude. No, I just want to go into Fleekathon. I'll fight you on the way out, or I won't. Oh. Why is Hades the only example in um, this particular pantheon that is both a god and a place? Hmm. This doesn't seem good. This seems very bad, actually. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yikes. Oh, uh, uh, God. <laughs> oh, that moment when you suddenly realize you're in super trouble. <laughs> God, what's happening? Uh, I am going to die from fiery burning because I can't see where I am. <laughs> bom, 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 bom. Everything got very, uh, very toasty all of a sudden. Cool. I assume cool. I have to turn that down. It is pretty cool. Uh, Although, this is a real test of my ability to switch back and forth the direction of my my little dude, which is something I'm not good at. Okay. Got a, ah, no overs. Okay, up we go. I definitely know I'm leaving some stuff behind. There must have been, a, there was like a little side thing. I bet it had one of those treasure loot boxes in it. Uh. Oh no! no. <laughs> you fell into the pit! I did, and I am gonna die very shortly, I think. Can I get out of this one? Oh, maybe I can. Oh no! Uh. I managed to drink. <laughs> All right. Have we perished? Yep. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Do you think I can get through it on the third time? Ah, uh, not with that attitude. No. Oh. Uh. Wow. Nope. <laughs> nope. All right, we're gonna die again. Oh, oh no, that's just. I'm just jumping down. I'm gonna. No, I don't Does the the character have a name, by the way? Uh, Nick Andreos, I think. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, maybe they, um... Uh, somebody in the chat just said that they don't remember the flames being this hectic when they played. Maybe the game heard uh, me say that I was not good at the directionality of my... of my avatar and yeah. decided to up the difficulty. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, this guy. Because it's super hard to see what's going on and to see where my little pointer is. Yeah. And so, because I'm relying on where my pointer is rather than having an intuitive sense of, like, which direction my guy is facing. I could definitely see that if, if I was... I'm also not, yeah, if, if I was better at platforms, this would be far more achievable. Am 
my neighbor upstairs is sort of having a fit somehow. A little disturbing. I mean, <laughs> There's a lot of stamping on the floor. I don't know why. Maybe they're also watching this. You're like, what are yeah. you doing? They don't want us to perish in the flames. Go lift, you idiot. <laughs> no! <laughs> Oh, no. it's the ceiling in that little bit. I'm gonna take a quick slug. Oh no, I'm just not quite standing in the right place yet. All right, no, that's it. I'm, I think I can survive that. Yeesh. <laughs> yeah, keep that count up, two tone. All right, what's the over under on 10? On what now? On whether I can do this in 10 oh. tries or not. <laughs> I, I don't think I need to be holding this torch. Nikandros, there might be enough light. Ah! Oh! Okay, I'm just running backwards and dying this one. It's a wash. Oh, yeah, yeah uh, it is maddening oh, to aim the pointer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's not this much fire on Athenian pottery. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, game. Probably not this much animation as well. Hmm, yeah. Oh. I'm sure they would have been into it though. It's probably true. Oh, I'm nervous. I am do it. shocked that I managed to kind of get away yes. with oh. <laughs> Up, go up, climb, climb, little dude, climb. Drink that potion, drink that potion real quick. Nope, not quick enough. He had it in his hand. He's falling with the potion in his hand. Oh, just swallow it. Oh my God. All right, what's the count? I'll have to. I'll look back on it. I'll look back on the recording later. I think it must be like eight. Okay, this one's going well so far. I just jinxed it. You can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, climb up. Come on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Ah, oh, no. wrong way. Bounce up. Get it! Yes. All right. The flames keep following us, though. We should be further above yep. that. Yep. Oh. <laughs> no, dudes. <laughs> Oh, I'm not fighting anyone. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah, that's a proper ladder. Yep. All right. All right. Oh. Uh. All right, remembered how to do that one. Okay. There are so many things that I'm not stopping for in here. I'll pick up some arrows though. Some of those, uh... Oh no! Oh no. Oh, it went... Uh... No! Oh, what?
Oh, <laughs> 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 was right there. I think my weapon wasn't long enough to hit that last one consistently. And drag. <laughs> <laughs> this level is lit. <laughs> oh god, that is a true fact. All right, once more for Athens. Not like that. Oh, I was going to say those um, sort of zigzagging staircases reminds me more of illuminated manuscripts than pots. Oh, yeah. Um, but, so there's there maybe multiple things happening. I hope you'll forgive me if I don't get back for them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh, no, come on. Oh. Alright, this is going a bit better. Ah, oh, come on. Nope, up. So much fire. Yep. Oh, that's not what I wanted to push, but that's alright. Okay, we're up the stairs again. Oh no. Little skeleton dudes, I am already getting burned alive here. I don't need your help with your swords. I'm not going to stop for the arrows this time. So I think that means I can go into into Hades now. I feel alive. <sighs> I can feel the warmth. Let us touch the warmth again. Ooh. Ah. Uh. Sweet, sweet water. <laughs> I just want to feel again. Well, how I miss the touch of skin. Yay! I like the going up part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as long as you don't have to, you know, race fire or anything like that. <laughs> Back to Mr. Fr Mr. Griffin. Oh. Yeah, I like the Griffin. A pot unsmashed. <laughs> ah, the House of Hades. Oh, cool. All right, here we go. Nice kind oh, of uh, uh, archaic Doric columns, okay? Yeah, actually, I don't want to... Uh, I'm going to go back here, because I just before I left... Yeah, on the outside here, there's a... Yeah. Um, there's a pediment. Oh, cool. What is that? 
Uh, Athena? That, yes, this is the um, one of the sides of the Temple of Athia at Aegina. So from around 520, uh, uh, this is uh, the Trojan War. There's Athena in the center, and then mm. uh, yeah, different um, uh, different warriors, Lunging and those uh, is uh, it, fallen ones in the corner. Is this an Egyptian guy here, or is that just uh, a like a weird rendering of like a like a kind of uh, Thracian cap or something? Uh, Can where? you make that out? Uh, sort of in the middle, um, third figure to the left of Athena, crouching with the bow. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, sorry. Um, let me expand the screen. Yeah, so uh, this this whole um, yeah they they've done some they've done some extra things uh, as far as uh, added stuff to the costume. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you hold on one second. This is from. Yeah, the, there we go. Yeah, the Brinkman Gods in Color. Uh, so my my dissertation advisor Susanna Ebbinghaus has identified that character as Paris, in fact. Oh, nice, interesting. So it looks like they've changed what is a one piece cap in the original to what looks sort of like an Egyptian style wig with a little crescent on top of it. Yeah, they they've added a little thing. Yeah, so it does Weird. have a little curve yeah 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 i see yeah interesting all right let's so um, yeah so this would all have been uh painted and and uh they haven't uh, done any attempt at polychromy in here and that's mm -hmm. fine um yeah the style, style they're going for is, is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very much not polychromous all right so we got <laughs> these columns on the outside and all these pediments and stuff this would actually be pretty cool uh to show in a um uh like a class about temples actually as a schematic yeah, representation so you've got your your triglyphs and metopes so they've attempted to put in the architrave and everything uh the door is pretty cool with those i guess eagles on either side of this these big bronze doors we're looking at um bronze because they're yeah. green i'm mm. assuming um and yeah so uh nice it kept it consistent um the the columns look kind of archaic to me because they're stockier uh, right. than the actual temple of aphia so that was late archaic these are kind of more earlier archaic more like the uh, temple of apollo at corinth mm. um both by the way uh the aegina temple and the temple of apollo have monolithic columns so oh, that's cool. uh, not not sort of layered in drums uh but yeah actual one piece of stone those are always impressive when you see various monolithic things i think about the the temple at, at Belbeck, is it that has the enormous like the just ridiculously large like stone blocks monolithic blocks <clears throat> yeah yeah i haven't been to syria uh, it's huge <laughs> all right i'm going back in okay this is cool all right so oh so looking up we've got oh. the we don't have a pediment because we're inside the temple i guess in a, in a sort of two-dimensional relief we got have these more nice kind of curtains. orientalizing style columns there oh yeah ionic bases and a red figure style panel of a uh animal a Deer, is it? Oh, looks like yeah it looks like dogs eating a deer oh it's pretty pretty good i like it <laughs> oh you send me to hell Beautiful. and now you follow to mock my spirit we found the pirates rather squeeze in the light from your eyes uh you probably will i will not relish having the light squeezed from my eyes ah nope ah. i won't cannot switch no okay all right <laughs> okay. <laughs> I want. Thank you. Oh, no.
make some healing potions. I'm, I think I'm gonna die here and then, yep, try again. It took me so long to switch out of the torch that, yeah. All right, let's switch out of the torch. Thank you. Immediately. Me to hell and now you follow to mock my spirit i will rather squeeze in the light from your eyes so i think i think that might be the the raider leader that i killed near the beginning What are you crafting for? <laughs> oh, I don't have any healing potions, do I? Uh... <laughs> oh, I like how I was standing on a shield just then. So someone was asking about mushrooms in the comments. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Where, where mushrooms are? Uh, I mean, up here we've got uh, the vulture between two palmettes. I think the mushrooms were from back in Hades. There were a bunch of mushrooms I was walking past. Oh, oh he's okay. summoning people. I, I didn't see them. I'm sorry about that. I was mostly running away from fire at the time, so there were... <laughs> Well, I think I was saying yesterday that I'm glad this game was easier than I was expecting, and I think, or whenever I was last playing it, uh, and I think I'm going to take that back. <laughs> I no longer think this game is easier than I was expecting. <laughs> Alright, but I did manage to win with only one death. <laughs> these musicians uh, mm. to the double flautist and two people playing the kitha road which is a kind of liar um with a kind of bigger and boxier there's different kinds of liars oh no wait i don't want to switch this oh here we go So are these, what are, the, what are these, um, these floral, uh, or plant motifs, stylized plant yeah, motifs on the wall? That's an, uh, they're all kind of different versions of palmettes. Mm. So these, these, uh, were adopted, uh, from Near Eastern motifs and also Egyptian during the, uh, so-called orientalizing period in the 600s. Uh, so yeah, they're kind of added, uh, decoration, um, uh, in a lot of uh, on a lot of pots you'll find palmettes a lot on a uh, near the handles so you've got mm -hmm. a cup and uh maybe one kind of decoration or scene on one side and then the scene is interrupted by handles and so sometimes they use uh palmettes like this to um, ease the transition between the scenes and the handles nice all right so i think this is uh persephone and hades a mortal in flesh brings his warmth to my cold heart. Uh, you got plenty of warmth to below, the buddy. Oh, we cannot return like your loved ones to life. It has only brought trouble in the him. past. Whosoever comes into our domain remains forevermore. No, he comes to ask for the return of spring to the world above. He bears the same sadness in his soul as my mother, Demeter. 
Zeus has severed the links between mortal and divine. The seeds of spring are forever buried underground, regardless of my will. But perhaps it is time to relinquish my powers of renewal. It is, after all, what keeps us apart for so long, my husband. <laughs> A strong sprout must break through the hard earth to see sunlight, but many more are trapped in the ground forever. Which are you, little seed? <laughs> how they uh, did this hierarchical scaling so the the gods are <laughs> uh, like twice the size of the, the human figure which is um, often not always uh, but often used yeah um, that I think in like the the layers of the of the whole game is, is like there's a lot there's a lot about this that I really like oh can I smash that You've returned, oh. and with the gift of Persephone as well. Oh, that's right, this is... Yep. I sympathize with your plight, Nicandrios, and I there commend you for your courage. I do not wish to see your people die as Zeus decrees. Once before, I was nearly the cause of your extinction, and it has brought me nothing but remorse. Hmm. In some small way, perhaps this will atone for my wrongdoings. With the combined strength wow. of spring and growth, go and bring life to lands where I cannot. <laughs> a, I like that I didn't tell uh, Demeter that apparently Persephone has decided to stay in Hades forever now. But the <laughs> the, the, the her feeling guilty at her actions from the home of Demeter is a little bit like. Mm, side eye <laughs> wow i'm just taking lots of spirit elevators here <laughs> yeah i like this levitating <laughs> oh here we go <laughs> okay so yeah we know that's apollo because he's got this kind of uh chintzy liar yeah. it's not <laughs> it's not a good liar like the other liars we just saw i just but, um, i just smashed the statue of demeter when i came rocking up through and they're oh, doubling down on the smashing action yeah so okay yeah so uh we've got apollo and artemis um yeah never smash artifacts uh people <laughs> <laughs> yep <laughs> definitely don't do not smash lose <laughs> do not buy ancient artifacts i can just say that right now um what's that guy doing he's carrying mm. An emperor, maybe. Uh, oh. I think it's a sack. Oh, okay. Yeah, on our share screen, it's it's kind of small. So yeah. To, I'm like going back and forth. Uh, um, where am I? Yeah, so it, it is a sack. Yeah, sorry. Better bolt your doors. <clears throat> I just had four cases of apples stolen. Cool. Four cases sorry. of apples stolen. <laughs> Now, if there's one thing I learned last time, Don't it's start trouble. it's not to start trouble. <laughs> it's not to smash things in Olympus, or you get all the guards come after you. Are we in Olympus right now? I'm sorry. Yeah, we are. We are in the Agora of Olympus. Oh, this is all Olympus. Oh. Yeah, this whole thing is Olympus. We oh. start not in Olympus. We start originally on on Earth somewhere. I don't think they say where, and then you come up to the Olympian Gate. I forget who brought us up here and now we have to go around all these and I guess we're in the one that's the kind of highlighter color and we've completed ones that are that are white so okay our next objectives are to find the lyre of Apollo or the bow of Artemis uh, do you have a preference Marina for whether we should go after the lyre of Apollo or the bow of Artemis well I, I keep looking at the Apollo because it um the way that the temple is set up, it looks exactly how the temple is uh, oriented on the hillside of Delphi. Mm. So I All kind right. of am digging that. Sold. Let's do that. <laughs> uh, hopefully we can get there in this direction. Hey, nope. No, but maybe we can't. Maybe we have to go the other direction. I think it's... 
can go up from here. Agro market. Oh. Can I travel there? No. Okay. Oh, that looks promising. Yeah, here we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, cool. So this is very Assassin's Creed. <laughs> I'm gonna. Should I start some shit? I think I'm gonna start some shit. Halt! Okay. You have broken the laws of Olympus. <laughs> Pay tribute or submit to the judgment of Zeus. Uh, I'll pay. Very wise. We'll be watching you. <laughs> you can watch me from down there while I pick this lock. Ah, oh, come on. Alright, well, if they're after me already. Okay, alright, well, that wasn't what I was hoping. I wanna go up, how do I get up there? Oh! Oh! No! Don't break oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Well, I guess I didn't need to go through that door you after all. Stop! I get my the run trees on. are really cute. Be alone. They're, they're not really Stop. how in the name these of are food. done in the pottery, oh. but I, I like them. How are trees done in the buttery? Um, yeah, they, they're they normally just sort of branches. They don't, uh, not so much foliage. Um. Intruder! Well, at least I know how to get here, here. <laughs> when I die. Oh. Oh, I want that spear. So I'm about to die. Oh. Oh. That's going to leave a mark. <laughs> it's just a flesh wound. <laughs> I've had worse. <laughs> It was this way. Alright. Let's try that again. Now I can't remember how to get there again. I think it's this way. Oh, no, I don't need to go up there. That way lies trouble. Oh. So we're hmm. we're still in the Agra, right? Yeah, yeah. We respawned back at the at the yeah. smashed temp, uh, smashed uh, statue of uh, Demeter. All right, and I'm sure we'll be going into the chambers of Aphrodite later. Yeah. So um, yeah. So that Aphrodite, that uh, sort of nude contrapasto statue we just saw. Yeah, her. Um, <laughs> uh, she's uh, not really archaic. Uh, you don't find uh, statues of nude Aphrodite until the late classical, so the 300s. So, like, yeah, at least 200 years after most of the stuff we're looking at uh, is supposed to be um, imitating. Uh, but Showing her nude helps us recognize her as Aphrodite, of course, so that helps us as, as viewers of the game. Um, otherwise, yeah, she is a little bit harder to recognize if she's not labeled in the pots. Um, uh, so in the uh, archaic period, in the early classical, uh, you don't have uh, monumental images of uh, female nudity, you just have male nudity. Uh, so. 
Ah, uh, the, the man who walks like a false god. Praxiteles, Canidian uh, Aphrodite from Canidos on the coast you of Turkey. That was for your the first monumental homeland. female nude. Well, I'm afraid your time um, basking in the sunlight. Uh, of the Greek Fathers world. declared I mean, that miserable place not worth the nudes, dirt it made. Female nudes, of course, uh, in we I guess uh, tears on your mortal symposium fiatics. scenes on the pottery gods gift and you, with you know the different and sex civilization scenes and to free you from your savage roots. Time and time again, you come up failing. Damn, you're getting ripped by a boy. The sun only shines on those oh. who <laughs> Sorry. It. Run along now. Damn. My music is not for your ears. Not for you. Wow. Hello. I clearly don't have the leggings for it. Look at those leggings. Oh. Okay. Serious for the honor guests of Apollo. Well, how do I become an honored guest of Apollo? What, what? I like how he's strumming his lyre. That's super cute. Yeah. <laughs> These people are getting down. I love this kind of... <laughs> this guy's doing the robot. Yeah. Even the, even the guard is boogieing. <laughs> Apollo knows how to party, but I'm not allowed to party with Apollo, so apparently I have to go somewhere else. I wonder if yeah, that was, that, that was the Running Man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> and then stops for like a, some lunges. Yeah. Whoa. All right. Um. So I wonder if I'm supposed to. Yeah. In the luxurious halls of his marble palace, the sun god Apollo holds extravagant symphonies for musicians and artists, the social elite of Olympus. Uh, all right. Maybe I have to do Artemis first? Okay, fair enough. And at least I want to fight that guy, which seems like... That doesn't seem like a good way to get invited to a party. <laughs> yeah, there's our naked Aphrodite. Yep. Ooh. So yeah, the trees look like different kinds of cypresses. You know, the pointy cypress and oh, there's Dionysus. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. There's Thyrsus. Yep. And he's got a riton, which is pretty cool. Uh, the kind of uh, drinking horn cup, which you can't put down, so you just have to keep. <laughs> So it implies, you know, um, serious drinking. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yep, that's how he rolls for sure. <laughs> well, I can't go into his vineyard. Um, Alright. The Forest of Artemis. Cool. That sounds cool. Ooh, green. Find her bow. Yeah. Oh, is that a rabbit? Birds? Oh, so pleasant. Oh, he has dryad. So we do see a, a black figure rabbit. Uh, we we see dogs hunting rabbits and things. The maiden has no time for the pleas of simple men. Stand above these other huntsmen who play with their toys. Become the fiercest beast in the wild. Slay the great wolf. Cut down the venomous chimera. Cast out the bullish Ooh. satyrs who pollute our shrine. <gasps> satyrs! Show mm. your worth to the eyes of Artemis, and, and she will cast her favor upon you. And hopefully give me an invitation to Apollo's party. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is, this, is, this is cool. Oh, hello. Bad dog. Yep. Oh, pelt. So, yeah, hunting imagery is really important and is a, a pederastic metaphor uh, for uh. Uh, the older men pursuing younger boys. Um, I would recommend uh, The Hunt in Ancient Greece by Judy Berenger if you uh, want some cool stuff on this. It's uh, about the pottery mostly. Oh. Ooh. Is 
that a Seda? Yeah, wh wh who is that person up there? I'm gonna expand my screen. This is awesome. Oh, lots more of yeah. the trees. Yeah, it's a Seder. Oh my god. Oh, a cave. Yeah, I wanna go into the cave. I think I do. What am I? Is, is there a map of this? No. That deer is pretty awesome, I have to say. Okay, find it again. Oh! Ah! Yikes. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> Stab the deer. No, oh, these dogs. I need it. Alright, so yeah, I mean, uh, the deer and the dogs are really important to Artemis, as we know in the myth of Acteon. Um, which is depicted on quite a few pots. I don't know of any black figure ones, but we definitely see it in red figure uh, in the fifth century. Um, so this is the story of the young hunter Acteon who came upon Artemis' baby, and the penalty for seeing a goddess nude is death, and so she uh, turned him into a deer, and uh, his own hunting dogs attacked and ate him. Here's the um, here's the mushrooms, by the way. Oh. Oh, yeah. That's uh, that's kind of a Alice in Wonderland. Thing yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh yikes. <laughs> yeah, uh, I do not know those from uh, anywhere. It's kind of fun fantasy stuff, I guess. This is not good. I brought a knife to a direwolf fight? That's not a good plan. <laughs> Hunt the direwolf. Oh, okay. Can I? Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah, we've got any comments in a while. Oh. Oh. oh no. <laughs> Maybe I should be using my bow here actually. Oh uh, yeah, when in the forest of Artemis. Oops. I'm not very good at the bow actually, this is a terrible idea. <laughs> Vase a lot as, as source material, so uh, there's a really cool, um, well, whether she's Artemis or not uh, is, a, is a question, but a uh, borrowed um, uh, Eastern motif of the Mistress of the Beasts, or the Potnia Theron, uh, which, you know, I guess generally morphs later, evolves into imagery of Artemis. Uh, on the uh, Francois vase, and so she's holding a panther in one hand and a stag in the other, and the stag looks like a lot of these deer that we see mm -hmm. um, in the forest. Uh, but uh, these black figure deer show up separately, apart from being near Artemis or the mistress of the beasts. Um, so I think there's some other interesting animal metaphors that you find on pottery um and yeah we even have uh black figure uh satyrs 
um, having sexual relations with mm. these beers um, huh. in different ways, which is meant to be funny, most likely. Um, but yeah, so they're all part of yeah, this forest kind of scene, so this is working. didn't kill it, did I? I don't know where it went. It's, it's a trap. <laughs> yeah, so those trees, uh, the ones that are more branchy, those are what we tend to see. Oh, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Yay! It's a deer. I like it. Maybe I, <laughs> I think I did kill that dire wolf. Oh, good. Just a random lucky shot. Swamp. I oh, can't go into the swamp yet. Oh, hello. <laughs> what did he say? Seen any of those baldy nymphs around here? <laughs> 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 oh, cool. Big deer sculpture. Big deer sculpture, I think I missed that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I see. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know of any like that, but it's a uh, possibility, sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's, uh, of course, a lot of dedications that we don't have because they were in bronze or some other expensive material that could be melted down, so... Uh, yeah. Oh. We may have descriptions of them. Uh, Pausanias is good for uh, reading about dedications that existed in the um, the second century AD uh, that no longer exist now, uh, where he goes to different sites and describes what he sees. So here's here's a character. We, we didn't meet any of these any characters like this in Hades, but. Just beyond the hunter. You should make for a fine hunter. You just need the right arrows and traps. Uh, he's trying to sell me something. A, a sentry gun. That's what I need. Let's try that. Oh. Teach a, teach a Greek warrior to make a sentry gun and you'll feed him for a lifetime. It's the same goes. Cool assortment of stuff in that storage room. Yeah, do you think he's going to get mad at me if I steal it? <laughs> I don't know. Nope, apparently oh. not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you smashed that awesome column crater. Yeah, yeah smash that, that meat. Yeah, the big uh, beef, the hanging beef side. It's what I like to do in my spare time. Smash ham. <laughs> smash, smash a poor hunter's provisions for yep. the air. He didn't need that. What was he using it for? Oh. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, this is neat. This Underwater is level. Cool. Oh. Well, you're getting a good workout, your yeah. character. <laughs> oh. Mushrooms again. Witch's Hollow. What? Here we go. What's in the Witch's Hollow? Snake. Oh, awesome. It's a weird snake. Is that like a reference to something? Um, no. It, I think it's sort of like um, I don't think so. Uh, doesn't. Doesn't ring a bell, but could. Maybe I'm just not remembering. Oh, who's this? It is. A visitor comes to my humble house. You have come seeking my service. That's the witch. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> Hollowed out dog teeth filled with the fermented blood of a stag to summon a wolf companion. 
<laughs> I mean, that sounds pretty cool, actually. I might grab a couple of those. I don't know how much money I have. Uh, wolf dust recipe. Well, yep, I'll buy. I, I hope I like it. <laughs> All right. A big, big loom back here. Oh, yeah. That's cool. That's very cool. Oh, she's got some meat to smash. <laughs> she kept her healing potions inside her meat. Oh, her cookery. Yep. Yeah, Sigil like of the Necromancer. Yeah. I, I like how the loom had uh, loom weights and everything. Oh yeah, I'll go back up there in a sec. Yeah, yeah. Um, what is this? After years of sightless scrying, sifting through the inky veil of Tartarus, I finally uncovered the identity of the necromancer, Gwillem. Classic Greek name, but alas, he is dead now. <laughs> Zeus be cursed, and I doubt even my own ample vows will be able to bring his shade back from the underworld. Well, I'm not going down to the underworld to get him again, uh, because I just went down there and it's terrible yeah that was pretty bad who would have thought the underworld would be terrible it was pretty bad <laughs> yeah so there's the loom again yeah so yeah yeah that's cool yeah the um what done. the only I've, I've done a couple of seasons of uh, archaeological survey and the only thing that I found that was sort of of any real note was a loom weight which is not oh. particularly like no, remarkable really but awesome. uh, wh which site? Uh, it was in um, Boeotia at Elion wow that must have been really nice it was we stayed on the Boeotian Riviera nice where all the Athenians went to uh, for the weekend and the only person in the town who spoke English was the uh, chemist it was the perfect person to be speaking English. Oh, oh, a back entrance into the swamp. Oh, foreboding music. Follow the acid trail to find the chimera. I am... Okay, all right. Because right. as long as there's no more fire... Yeah. Although, if a river of acid starts coming up from the bottom of the map, I'm also gonna. It's gonna be pretty similar. <laughs> <laughs> the acid doesn't seem to be damaging me. Okay, I'm gonna go back actually and try and go back up this part. Oh. Pig face, dude. Ooh. So, oh, so we're we're with Circe. Yeah, I guess. That was my thought when I saw him. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yikes. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, they got it. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah. he seems to have pig powers. <laughs> yeah, he's not into this. He's not into me being here. All right. There is a really excellent uh, black figure cut of uh, Circe uh, transforming uh, Odysseus's men into uh, pig men. Uh, that is in the uh, Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. Um, is that where they're like half transformed? Yeah, yeah. It's it's pretty awesome. And uh, this is one of the ones where uh, Circe herself uh, looks like she's just regular black figure, and that's because the white of her skin has been rubbed off over the ages. Um, so it's, yeah, some of that added color is gone. But it's, it's pretty fantastic. <laughs> I do not want to run into any pigmen. 
<laughs> yeah, that seems very reasonable. I, I love how I can climb ladders using only my feet. Oh yeah, so uh, someone's asking about the, the pigmen. Uh, yeah, it's part of the uh, the story of the Odyssey when um, uh, uh, Odysseus and uh, his men get shipwrecked. It's shipwrecked again, right? When, when they uh, arrive, or Yeah, they I'm pretty sure. <laughs> There's like so many shipwrecks. Uh, I got shipwrecked, or just wrecked. <laughs> So, uh, is a witch and she transforms, uh, men into pigs in the story. So, so yeah, the Odyssey. I'll be back okay. in two minutes. All right. All right. Hmm. If there's a way to get over there. Maybe not. Actually, I don't think I'm going to... Uh... Alright, let's take on the pigmen again. One of the things about... Um, uh, playing games like this, where it's sort of... Like, explicitly classical, and I'm sort of playing them for a to view them as classical pieces is that I don't feel the nearly the same completionist urges as I usually do with most games so I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to um, go back over some of these things I don't know what's maybe I shouldn't be going down here the objective is up Oh, what are those? There's an elephant man? Alright. Wait, what? There's a dolphin man? No, an elephant man. What? Look, look at that. Look at that dude there. He's definitely an elephant man. Oh, wow. I mean, this is probably a terrible idea, but I'm going to go so high to the elephant man, who's probably going to kill me. <laughs> Elephants are nice. This guy's not. Look at that axe. Yeah, that's probably not, not good. Ugh. Well, he just throw people like an elephant. Yeah, hi. This thing is... Ugh. Need a quicker weapon here. And a dog came in for the fun. Alright. up there is it the same guy uh no i killed the first guy i killed the first elephant man okay. this is yeah. a still living elephant man i got no elephant references for black figure i have to say <laughs> yeah <laughs> Are there many references to sort of explicitly foreign things in Black Figure rather than, say, mythological? Uh, foreign, like objects or. Yeah, like, as I, I work on, like, mobility and borders and stuff, and so that kind of, like, representations of the foreign, especially in geographical writing, is something I think about, but I don't know to what extent that's a thing in, um, in, like, pottery of this period. Um, 
Yeah, as it as it uh, enters into uh, mythological depictions, so um, uh, I guess we have. Well, I guess most immediately, I'm thinking of the um, the the story of Heracles uh, battling mm. uh, Busiris. Is that his name uh, in northern Africa? Oh yeah. Um, and uh, we have um, Andromeda, uh, who's shown. This is on a, a pot also in Boston Museum of Fine Arts, um, where uh, her, I guess, uh, uh, people accompanying her are Ethiopians mm -hmm. and right. shown as uh, black skinned. Or, or African characteristics. Um, so there's something of that. Uh, what else do we have? Um, oh. Yeah, Memnon is oh, yeah. shown, shown as just not uh, foreign looking. Uh, so that's interesting too. And Andromeda herself is also shown as not foreign looking although um yeah the the costuming like the um uh this trojan character uh who maybe it's paris what am i doing yes <laughs> uh so <clears throat> yeah we've got um i guess scythians uh who wear the the leggings um so there's yeah there's certain references uh, I guess to uh, yeah Persian costuming or a Scythian costuming um, yeah there's some sort of you know vaguely easternizing motifs that you can find but yeah uh, sort of more pinpointy like uh, exotic animals and and such, um, maybe maybe panthers must have been exotic. Uh, I mean, although in ancient Greece they did they did have uh, lions at one point. So. Right. Um, and they had panth panthers in um, in Cilicia, as Cicero tells us, because he couldn't get any <laughs> for his buddy. I think I've like kind of gone the wrong way here. Oh yeah, the 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 Scythian folks. Yeah, so uh, Amazons are often dressed in in that uh, kind of uh, those outfits with the leggings. Um, on interestingly, yeah, there's some there's some Thracian costumes too from from the north. Uh, a specific kinds of hat made out of the the fox, I guess, um, and uh, even some scarification on some red figure pots, but hmm. I don't know of any on um, black figure. So yeah, there's there's some there's some you know uh, foreignness stuff. Um, yeah, uh, it's it's a really interesting topic. Yeah. So I think this is, is this is this is the wrong way again. Okay, yeah, I don't want to go this way. I'm trying to get further up to the top right of the of the screen because that's where the pointer is telling me to fight the Shimura. I think maybe I have to go way further up. That's gonna be exciting. Oh no, look out for that. Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> just run away from that dude. You can. Alright. So. Is this the way? That I don't know what, guy! I don't know, what, <laughs> I don't know what kind of weapon I have here. It's some sort of like pickaxe, it's very slow. <laughs> Mostly getting me shoved against the wall. There you go. Can I go 
this way? Uh, oh, I don't want to go that way. I don't want to go out that way. Trying to get away, man. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Six uh, foot for a wall. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I got him in the air. Bullman! Is that a, oh, it's Pigman again. Not another Pigman. Alright. Uh, so I should say as well that not all Amazons are dressed as Scythians or, you know, wearing those leggings or whatever. Sometimes they just look like uh, kind of female hoplites, really. Mm -hmm. um, I guess one one cup that I could... No, it's an emperor. One emperor I can point you to is the Exekius of Achilles <clears throat> killing Penthes Penthesilea. Uh, and she's basically a hoplite, but she is shown as sort of exoticized because she's wearing a panther skin over her tunic. So that's kind of interesting, hmm. but otherwise... Um... Get that guy. Hmm. Wow, he's fierce. Yeah. Oh, you got him. I, I got him. I whacked him on the head. <laughs> <laughs> I, f I feel like I'm... I think I'm lost in here. I thought there was a way to get further up. Am I... Like, how do I... Hmm. Oh, do I have... Uh, do I have a favorite uh, piece of Greek art? Um, well, uh, I mean, it's, it's hard to say that there's a favorite, but I actually do. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I like... Uh, this amphora that is in Munich. It's a red figure um, jug, basically, uh, by the Cleophrates painter, and it has uh, Dionysus on it with some satyrs and menads, who are the drunken wild women that follow Dionysus, uh, on the belly of the amphora, and then on the neck of the amphora, it's got a little scene of athletes. Um, and it's just, it's just beautiful. Um, uh, the whole design of it is incredible, and the uh, the drawing is great, and the Dionysus is completely decked out. He's wearing a panther skin, or leopard skin, a partilus in Greek, um, and there's added color on his ivy leaves. They're painted mm. purple. It's just it's just awesome. That does so I recommend cool. that one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. Well, okay, there was a. F hmm. How do I get up there? Fo oh, follow the acid trail. Wait, I gotta follow the instructions. Okay. Uh, oh, the instructions? I forgot about that. It said follow the acid trail right at the beginning, and then I duly didn't. Oh, hello, dogs. Alright. Uh, which way is the acid trail? This way. Is this... This is just going to lead me all over the place, isn't it? So, 
The hunting dog was a big status symbol in ancient Greece. Uh, I have an article that I've published uh, about hunting dogs as metaphors. It's online. Uh, people can easily uh, Google it and find it. Um, it's called the wolfish lover. Uh, but in any case, there's um, different kinds of dogs. One of the most commonly represented is the Laconian hunting dog, the kind of, um, I guess, uh, around the area of Sparta it would have been. Uh, but there's also little fluffy ones that you see sometimes <laughs> too, which are cute. Little lap dogs that you find. Okay, I guess this was the way I was supposed to go. Maybe? Okay, I'm very confused. I feel like I should be able to go through here as well. Yeah, not letting you pass? Yeah. That definitely looks like a, like a gate yeah. of some sort. None shall pass. Yeah, apparently not. <laughs> I guess I have to, maybe I have to open something to, there's definitely some sort of treasure behind there. Hmm. Okay, so... Following the acid didn't actually work. <laughs> I don't think. Because it just leads me back to... Where it was. I guess I want to get. There's acid all over the place. Anyway, huh? <laughs> little... Do you know how do you know what the acid is? Oh, uh, I'm gonna have to expand my screen. I'm assuming it's the little green. Um. Oh, here we go. I haven't been up yet. Okay, cool. This is right. <laughs> problem <laughs> all right this looks very acidic <laughs> okay waterfalls of acid oh okay there he is oh okay it's... oh right on I'm just gonna run away a little bit let's try a bronze mace looks like they gave it um Normally the Chimera has a, a lion and a goat and a the tail is a snake. Oh, okay, oh. I guess. Well, it definitely has a snake tail. Yeah. And, and a goat. I see a goat or a kind of antelope. Antelope Yeah, it looks like goat. a deer instead of a goat, but it's cool. It's pretty good. And that, I guess that's a kind of stylized lion. Fireball breath, obviously. No. Oh. Vanquish, vanquish this thing? No, I'm going with the old tried and true. Hit it repeatedly with a stick <laughs> until it stops hitting you. Also, avoid the <laughs> fireball action. Yeah. That's what I'm <laughs> He must be important because he got a slow mo death as well. Okay. Oh. 
Oops. Okay, can I get up there? Oh, I can walk up there. I guess I could have used these boulders and thrown them at him somehow, but I haven't had much luck for throwing boulders. And I think it looks like I've cleared out this little... Oh, ah, here we go. Here's the exit. All right. Chimera dealt with. Where am I in the... No, I wish I could see the map of this place. At least you're out of the cave. Yep. Back in the idyllic wilderness of Artemis. Yay, another uh, griffin. I think... Pretty sweet. Is this the way I came into this whole place? Oh. Do I oh, have... that's a pretty cute lion. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I don't remember. All right, I need the Trophy of the Wild to get through here. I bet that's what I'll get after I have done whatever the last of the quests is here. Let's have some health. Oh, that was an unfortunate landing. Uh, so I've got to get, I got one down to the left and one down to the right. Seen any of those body nymphs around here? <laughs> oh, uh, someone found my article. Oh yeah. About <laughs> <laughs> <Not> the dog. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, there, there's a in, interesting variety of uh, imagery on symposium. Wait, is that? Oh, that's the dire wolf again. Oh no! I think. <laughs> uh, it wasn't just a random wolf. I don't think. Uh, oh, that's nasty. Okay, all right. Thought I dealt with him, but I guess I have to chase him around the forest. straight from my regular wolves. It's too many wolves. You're just so cute. <laughs> I can find the dire wolf again. Is this his hut? No, he's up, isn't he? Oh. Ah. Found is. him. <laughs> Still got a shitty weapon. Ah. Explosive arrows? If only I could work out how to use them properly. 
Why? Why wanna let me shoot? Oh, finally. And on five hit points. <laughs> Do I have a health potion? Yeah, okay. Alrighty. Oh. Alright, I can't remember what the last thing down here is. But I'm following the arrow to the bottom. Sanctuary of the Nerves? Yeah, okay. Cleanse the Sanctuary. Oh, right. This is the satyrs being bad. I no room anywhere else on Olympus. Unless you've got wine or tits, get lost! <laughs> Alright. Break the satyrs' wine. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Oh. So they've got... Ah, let me get back in there, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they're skipping around. Yeah, <laughs> it's kind of like this guy's got a bit of a get of a boogie on. We got some some big phalloy there. I hope I don't have to fight all of these guys on the way out. I kind of think I will though. <laughs> yeah, that that cool dance move again. <laughs> well, if they got one move, I guess. Oh no! <laughs> Stop, drop, and roll. What does this sign say? Satyrs shaking their head madly in the wind. Learned from Dionysus how to trod the grapes with dancing steps. Thanks, Nonus. Blossom of Artemis required to get through that door. Oh, I see. Here we go. Door is sealed. All right. Um. Ah. That was Trixie. Assassin's Dagger. Wow. <laughs> Bonus for hitting enemies in the back. Wow. That is... I feel like that's a level of skill at this game that I am a long way away from. Alright. If I pull this lever... that open something important. Here we go. I'm gonna find your wine and I'm gonna smash it, Satyrs. Get it out of here, you bastard! What? <laughs> did he just, like, drug me? He did. He just drugged me. Wow. He hit me once, and I'm, now I'm, like, waking up somewhere. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, that's fascinating. Do I have to? Okay, alright. Well, that guy's a boss. Down there with his big thrusus. Um... I wonder if I can shoot him from here. Well, let's Get it out of here, you bastard! Like a, a bad frat house. Uh, get out of. Yep. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Man. Interesting. Well, maybe let's try another going a different direction. <laughs> They might not all be so. Actually, a knife could be good against him. Back off, brother! Get it out of here, you bastard! All right. I wonder if I can loop around. Yeah. Ah. 
Can't stop me, Seda. And Trixie. Smash their wine, smash their boxes. Not the wine. <laughs> no option to take it for myself, sadly. Pretty slow with those things, so I can kind of dodge around them a little. They're hitting you with the thirstlight. They're trying to, yeah, and when, then when they do, it knocks me out. Oh, I see. Okay. Which is pretty clever. I like that from a design perspective, like sort of incorporating the, here, you bastard. the thematic elements. Oh, no, you got me. Sometimes uh, Thursoi are used as weapons in pottery, hmm. uh, but normally it's the mean ads uh, defending themselves against the satyrs mm. with them. So, you do see it. That's interesting. <laughs> Back off, brother! No! I smash you, I smash yeah. you too. <laughs> Smashing all the dudes. Oh, he got me. I'm being asked if we see triremes depicted on pots. Oh, we definitely do. Um, they're really popular in black figure, uh, especially for um, uh, symposium vessels, uh, because there's this whole metaphor of uh, the wine dark sea from Homer, mm. and that is uh, played with in the imagery. So um, on uh, big uh, mixing vessels, so there's uh, a mixing bowl that would be the center of the symposium uh, drinking party where you have to mix your water and wine together and so it's kind of a big open shape and on the inside of the edge you'll sometimes have uh, trireme's depicted so the water and the wine inside uh, this here, big bowl monster. will look like it has Back ships on it so yeah you see it uh, sometimes with sails sometimes just being rowed um, but yeah, they like they like the ships on the, on the pots for sure. Um, I see. Uh, Liesel asked, uh, "Hi, Liesel, by the way, um, that uh, why they all had Cockney accents? Basically, everyone <laughs> in this game has like a a British accent of some sort. Uh, it's definitely playing into that, uh, I guess, strand of popular media in which the classical is British." Ah, I'm dodging time. <laughs> uh, Pistol Pistone says, So, I'm not an expert at this game, but could I suggest you try not getting hit as much? Good call, actually. I'll try that. Why don't I try that? Let's try not getting hit. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, satyrs are from uh, uh, East London, I guess. <laughs> Back off, brother. <laughs> oh. Or, <laughs> or, or wherever. Um, Cockney is East? I don't remember. Get it out of here, you <laughs> bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Can I lure them all? <laughs> lure these. Uh, <laughs> all up 
to the top. Ugh. Come and get me. Come and get me. Yeah. I'm going to smash your wine. What are you going to do about that then, eh? Oh, you're going to stab me in the back with a thyrsus. But I smashed your wine. Ha. Huh. Uh, I don't think you ever hear the protagonist speak. No, I, I don't think we have yet. Um, it's one of those games that it doesn't even give you text of what the protagonist is saying. You just get the um, you just get the uh, other side of the conversation, the um, the antagonists or the NPCs side of the conversation. Um, do I need to go this way? so you can imagine yourself projected into the character yeah i think so um it i mean it saves on voice acting i guess but in particular for <laughs> for that reason i think um aids with identification oh this is tricky oh here's a here's the here's the old dionysus on the donkey yeah yeah he's got a cantharos too that's the cup dionysus likes his favorite cup <laughs> Oh, look at all these. Oh, you're oh, smashing is, all the... This is the dream. <laughs> it's just a whole lot of stuff to smash. All the symposium pots. Yep. Oh, not the emperor. That was a red figure, too. Oh, yeah. That was cool. There's a brute wildness in the fennel wands reverence. Uh, fennel? Fennel? I guess that's supposed to be fennel wands. Comma. Right, reverence right. it well. Or, or that should be like a, an M dash as opposed to an N dash. I I do kind of wish that with all those they gave the the proper citation, but I mean <laughs> I get why they don't. <laughs> it's a little bit inside baseball there, I guess. All right, I think that's all the wine smashed. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nectar of healing. Can I get through this door yet? No. Maybe I missed a piece of... Uh, there's something else down this way. Back off, no! No, I will not. I can't tell whether he's saying back off, brother, or fuck off, brother. Yeah, I'm not hearing the audio at all, so... Uh, I hope I haven't been talking over it too much. Is everyone else hearing the audio? I think they are. Back off, brother! Oh yeah, I, I muted it on the playback because there's a delay, and so... Uh. Yeah, it's kind of messing up our uh, rapport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm... I kind of... <laughs> I need, I think I need to get to do, wait, do I need to, hmm. I need to work out a better way of, of working the second, uh, of integrating Zoom with the, um, with OBS. Get it out of here, you bastard. Because at the moment, I'm having to do something slightly janky to get the, um, the zoom call and OBS working and it's means that uh, that's that's part of why Marina can't really hear that much stuff I guess Ooh. oh they've got a side of beef you want to go smash yeah, it? yeah I do want to smash it oh and I want to smash this wine oh what whoa shit oh 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 cool I can have Oh, I got little dudes to help me. Little skeleton dudes. I think I threw dragon's teeth or wolf's teeth or something. Oh. Accidentally. Okay. Smash the wine. Oh. Yeah. And now we smash everything else. Come, my minions. <laughs> Let us smash these things and recover the coins with their own. Smash this fish. Smash that ham. Smash that meat. <laughs> Give me that health. Back 
Charles Yeah, get him. Get out of here, you bastard. Oh, you got me. Oh. oh no. But it doesn't matter because I got the objective. Um, although I don't have the. Oops, I don't think I found. Hey, on the white smash. Oh. Oh, they're fighting themselves. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. The choking sounds of a dozen <laughs> dead satyrs. Yikes. Yeah, I, I was not expecting there to be a whole frat house full of uh, angry <laughs> Yeah, that's, I guess that's how they roll. <laughs> Well, if I get the Blossom of Artemis, I can come back and open that door. But... Oh. oh, yeah, Amy says uh, the skeletons must be Harryhausen-inspired. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I, I had no, I wasn't thinking of that at all. I feel like that's a, a pretty common um, thing you have to consider when thinking about classical reception in pop culture, is that so much stuff is people getting it from that source rather than from an actual classical source so it's always worth looking at that nah. now there's something else down this way that i oh here we go oh here we go it looks like he's done it the last mortal to hunt alongside artemis was mighty orion oh. hmm, but then he fell to scorpio's sting yes and the last man to see the sacred grove was poor Actian. Ah, devoured by his own hounds. Well, I hope neither of those happened to me. Will be better. Run along, <laughs> little champion. The huntress waits for you. <laughs> oh, yikes! <laughs> the huntress waits for you, and so do these dogs. <laughs> nice. Okay, so where do I go now? Oh, so many dogs. I feel like the dog quotient increased rapidly. I really like this forest. I, I, yeah. I, want, this, I want this in wallpaper on my walls, actually. <laughs> it would be really, really neat. It also has quite kind of relaxing music. Oh, I'll turn it on a little bit. Oh. Hmm. I feel like there's a whole lot of this forest that I haven't explored yet. Oh. Splashing around, you're scaring my fish away. <laughs> oh, sorry, dude. I didn't mean to hit you. Oh, I was aiming for his barrel. <laughs> Man, modern style anchor. It's just. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do I get up here? Can I climb this? No, I can't. Okay, all right. Uh, all right. I appear to have fallen to the bottom of the world. that I know of are, are Roman or mm. Oh, I have to go back down in here, don't I? That's right. Yeah, the water is kind of cool as well. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe not. Be oh, I have to jump, make that jump. Okay. I feel like there's a way to see the a map of this area without um without leaving it and coming back in when it shows that, that little snapshot. But I can't remember the key combination for that. If anyone can, um, uh, I would appreciate a little note in the chat. To be honest. <laughs> What 
is this? Where the hell do you want to go? Yeah. Are we? Oh, okay, cool. There we go. I think. Yeah, this is where I want to be. The Sacred Grove of Artemis. Tab. Oh, yeah, okay, right, thank you. Okay, so the bow of Artemis is off in that direction. spotlight yeah <laughs> ah. can't smash it <laughs> smash it <laughs> oh traps I like how they make it look like a crescent moon so on the this is the yeah. last oh. hunt of my is, birds is speaking. the strongest and craftiest creature in all my realm Nah, I mean, that now that Zeus has cut the link between the mountain and the earth, I grow so bored of this tiny garden. Gone are the golden days of the hunt. My arrows sit idle in their quiver, lacking a worthy target. But I wonder, does the master hunter make for master? Oh play? God! <laughs> <laughs> uh oh! Oh <laughs> damn! Oh, what am I supposed to do here? Ah! Yikes. Okay. I guess that's what these things are for. Ah! Oh, that one? Have I got that one? Yep, okay. Oh! Gonna be able to catch her. <laughs> okay. Well, this is fun <laughs> and kind of appropriate. I think. <laughs> I wonder if this is just <laughs> going to go on forever. <laughs> If I could get the bow working, this would be um, maybe much easier. No, nope. oh, this thing is so slow. <laughs> oh, oh, got me in a trap. Oh. 
<laughs> Run, damn you! <laughs> yeah, so much worse than me. Oh, I stabbed her again. Oh, <clears throat> Oh, so slow. Oh. Okay. Uh, gotta go back for that one. Oh. Oh, bombs. That's no fear. This doesn't doesn't just keep going until I catch her. Get these beer traps. health bar I didn't see her health bar oh I see it's at the top okay right okay uh, which way is she this way okay yeah unfortunately because of the um, uh, because of how I'm I'm streaming this and how I'm sharing the windows I am um, not able to see that health bar. Okay. Eh, but knowing there's a health bar is good, so thank you. with this club oh, get out of here oh that's a uh. <laughs> let me hit you <laughs> any i feel like basically any weapon in this game that isn't a sword or a spear is pretty useless at least in my so far well okay and then i should have been able to get him with that get it with that knife <laughs> Okay, well, here we go again. Once more around oh, the no. circuit. <laughs> no! <laughs> At least there's lots of health around here, so I don't have to... Um, it's not really that tricky to stay away from her. Oh, look at that square tree. Did you see that square tree, Marina? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very weird. I guess maybe they just wanted a little bit of variety. <laughs> yeah, I, I like it. I, I like the abstraction. Yeah, the kind of like menander tree. Or meander tree, <laughs> sorry.
feel like the game is just occasionally helping me by having her turn around. No, okay. No. Oh, I already got that one. Okay. How square would you say that trees were in N2? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> This, um, this game actually is a great example of, uh, like, the difference between realistic representation and stylistic representation, or however you want to kind of categorize it. I think there's something that um, people often think about games in terms of how, whether or not they're realistic or whether or not they're authentic, which is not the right question to be asking, really. Oh, yeah. Um, because it's not just about, like, the specifics of, like, what it does historically accurately or whether it represents things in a sort of true sense, uh, so much as the, the kind of style of it all, which is useful for thinking about, I think, ancient art as well, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I think there's a, a tendency to want to assume that art is the goal of art should be or at least is trying to be most of the time to depict something as realistically as possible and that's almost never the case yeah um so yeah i mean it's all it's all an abstraction to some degree or other um and yeah i think I, I'm really enjoying how uh, this is incorporated, uh, the the kind of flat uh, style of, of the pots. Uh, yeah. And especially, uh, especially doing it in black figure rather than red figure, um, because the silhouette of the technique, uh, all the detail, as I as I said early on, is is incised so scratched into the already fired clay so that means that um, everything is kind of hard and angular and silhouette and flat so you don't get a lot of um, attempts at perspective and um, spatial things like you see uh, a little bit more attempted at in, in red figure like foreshortening or bodies moving in space and this kind of thing everything is either front or profile um so yeah they they knew what they were operating with they weren't it wasn't about realism for black figure painters for sure and this is really doing an awesome job i have to say all right, see if we can get into Apollo's party this time. Okay. I want more dancing. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Apollo, Apollo, Apollo. <laughs> Your sister likes me now. She gave me her bow. Can I come into the party? Door is sealed. Hmm. Is there a... Hmm. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any other sneaky ways to get in here. Hmm. Yeah, you don't have to. Do I have to like? Oh, uh, you're supposed to attack him. A attack Apollo. <laughs> <laughs> Can you open the door in the Seder place now? Was it the bow? No, it wanted the blossom of Artemis, right? Well, I mean, sometimes when you get stuck, there's really only one thing to do. Such audacity! Come on, so yeah. Small, a man. If it's my attention you desire, then you shall have it. Oh yeah. Oh. Well. Oh. Oh. Okay, well, he <laughs> I got his attention. Um. Oh. The dungeon of Apollo. Alright, can I get up in the 
dungeon of Apollo. Hello? Is someone in there? Uh, call Helios? Imprisoned? I am Helios. And the sun was once my prized Nice! Treasure. But that snake Apollo stole it from me and imprisoned me down here. I am here for this. He has broken my body. Never again will I stand upon the burning chariot. Apollo is a powerful god. Any who stand against him are destroyed. Or worse. But I think I can help you. First, you must escape this horrible place. Good. I know cool. of a secret passage. Unfortunately for me, all these years, it's been under your cell, not mine. <laughs> Take these, my last slivers of sunlight. It will open the wall. Ooh. Excellent. Now, escape from this prison. Thanks, Helios. Oh... Oh, I have to use the blast things to get past that those walls. Yeah, I forgot about that. The game did tutorialize that earlier, but I forgot about it. All right. Prison break time. I got a knife. Oh, bottled shadows. That sounds dangerous. Oh, nectar of healing. Prison break continues. Go up here. <laughs> What's worse than being destroyed? Yeah, well, having to listen to Apollo a lot, probably. story I only rescue people with backstories actually that's not true I rescue everybody oh. yikes okay I'm just gonna not deal with that the wrath of the illuminator shall burn why won't you open oops I see you skulking you see me skulking Apollo, guide my arrow! I'd be stabbing. <laughs> These rooms are cool. Yeah. Oh, dungeon key. Alright, gotta find the dungeon key. Oh. So many arrows. I guess it was an automated arrow firing machine, so it should make sense that it would have a lot of arrows. Apollo will regret this. Hmm. All right, I'm putting the gang back together. Apollo will regret this. We have a little army here. Apollo will regret this. Someone. Oh, it's one of those things again. The destroyer has no mercy for intruders. Am I? No. Okay, let's try this again. Can I? Why can? I? So many arrows. How do I get up there? Smashing all the things, knocking over the Homeric Hymn to Helios.
through there. Interesting. The wrath of the Illuminator shall be. Ah. Ah. The Illuminator. That makes sense as an epithet for. Um, for Apollo. I don't know if that's a test. Yeah. Doesn't ring a bell. dungeon key and a coin I was wondering what that thing was but it was a sleeping dude with a <laughs> with an oblong shield I think he might have been dead but yeah <laughs> Secret, secret uh, tunnels up above Apollo's dungeon. Hmm. Apollo, of course, being famous for having secret rooms in his temples. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Dungeon key. So, am I going to be fighting a, a Cyclops? Little bit of theogony there. I was expecting that to be about Apollo. It's alright, I got a friend with me. He can take on the Cyclops while I smash all the furniture. <laughs> oh, hello, oh, Cyclops. <laughs> I. I think I want to be up above you. Oh, that looks like something to avoid. Oh, yikes. Oh no, you're on fire? Uh, that's my torch. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's okay. No, yikes. Um, can I have a... Can I, where's it? Weapon? <laughs> Weapons, please. Oh, that... My kingdom for Oh, a yeah. <laughs> oh, I got him in the face. Oh! Yeah, you gotta, you gotta blind him with oh. your torch. I didn't... Oh! I need some health. Oh! I don't know what that was, but I did not like it. Oh, I think I can only actually damage him in the face. Oh! That was like millimeters from his eye. Yeah, yeah, get him in the eye. Oh, oh my leg. Oh, I think shit. he took my leg off. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I wasn't going to swear because of the middle schoolers. I think, uh, I, I think that ship might have already sailed. <laughs> <laughs> did I? <laughs> uh, no, I think I did. Okay. No. 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 <laughs> um, no. Oh, he is not. <laughs> Which is fair. I'm in his house. Oh. That is. I am not in a good spot there. No. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Got him! Got him! Oh! Alive. Oh, he's smashing the furniture. Oh, now he's now he's really pissed off.
Oh, that was a bad place to run. <laughs> all eyes all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, he really doesn't like it when I do that. <laughs> I'm over here, Mr. Cyclops. I got a. Oh, I had a, a spot. Yeah. Oh. How's his health looking? Let's get in there. Oh, this is Bronte's as well. Yeah, you just Oof. gotta. Well, oh, just gotta yeah. avoid that club. <laughs> glug, 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 glug. Oh. For some reason. Oh, yikes. Wow. He blew me right up on the, on the wall. Bronte seems to be the Cyclops that, uh. that game makers like. Because. It is also. Bronte's is also the Cyclops in, um. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Oh, these rebuild. Your face! Into your face! Oh, I got him! Oh, I think. Oh, no. Oh, yeah! Take that, body. Oh, he evaporated like a, a, a buffy vampire. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the enemies seem to do that. Um, that one was the most sort of obvious and spectacular <laughs> on account of his enormous size. All right. <laughs> yeah, suck it. Yeah, suck take it. that, Cyclops. Yeah. <laughs> All right, into the Palace of Apollo. Finally. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> You're alive. I escaped in the confusion you made, but we're not out of the woods yet. If you seek to defeat Apollo, there are ways to tilt the scales. Uh, shoving spears in his eye. Nymph Daphne in Apollo's garden. Uh. She carries a deep hatred and will help you more than I can. <laughs> the fiery stallions that pull the solar chariot must be unfettered. Apollo will be weakened without his blazing war machine. Finally, Apollo's trusted lieutenants will guard him with their lives. Put an end to them before they can make such a selfless sacrifice. Go. Free my precious son from that villain's grasp. <laughs> nice. I I kind of like that we are um, saving, that we're taking down Apollo to to get Helios the son back. That's pretty sweet. I definitely don't want to fight Apollo in a chariot. That really sounds like a bad idea. I mean, fighting Apollo sounds like a bad idea anyway. You know about his arrows and what they yeah. call Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wonder if they'll one-shot me. Nope. Nah. I see you skulking. The light reveals all. So does my dagger. Yar. <laughs> it's gonna reveal your guts. Nope. Yeah. The destroyer has no mercy for intruders. Well, I have no mercy for extruders. Smashing the statues. Yeah, gotcha. Ah. Don't know what that was about, but I'll smash it. Garden of Light. Ah, definitely. All right. Yeah, look at this dude with an axe here. Yeah, that's not something I'm familiar with. <laughs> and this dude with a with a mace here. <laughs> yeah, not not super. The the lion, the lion yep. I'm with. <laughs> <laughs> We're down with the lion. The pillars, pillars are good. Is <laughs> uh, it goat? The, the goat, yeah, that's a little random, but yeah, just picked out of animal style, seventh century. 
Oh, oh, here we go. Again. There's those. Yeah, the reverse of the ones we saw before. Yep. Squirrel. Water. All right. Oh, a, a ball-headed spigot. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty much like the the fountain house scenes that you can get. Um, yeah. These statues are a little wonky. They're yeah. Cool. They're, cool. They're definitely going for a super militaristic vibe here with Apollo. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, I mean, what's the what's the Aries house gonna look like? Yeah. <laughs> Apollo. Ah, <laughs> uh, pseudo uh -huh. Oh, I guess Jeff needs, there's going to be a tree in here, isn't she? Probably. Cool. Oh, whoops. Yep. Yeah, Aries is going to be a, a coliseum or something. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, Aries is going to be. Super Roman. <laughs> I already have that shield, I think. Oh, hey. I see you skulking. You see me skulking. I'd be stabbing. Uh, oh. I haven't picked a lock for ages. your symposium service yep <laughs> oh I uh, yeah no that's good who oh, is this trippy circles action the destroyer has no mercy for intruders <laughs> Apollo guide my arrow <clears throat> So I could say something about these statues a little bit, just yeah. generally. Um, so when you see uh, statues like these with their arms outstretched the and lunging, uh, like uh, you noticed in your last playthrough when you uh, and someone else noticed the Artemisian Zeus. Mm. Um, so that's pretty typical of bronze statues only that can... Uh, withhold the weight of a lunging position with your arms outstretched it has to be hollow cast bronze uh, that's otherwise interesting. otherwise yeah if if you're thinking these are marble that would not work because the weight of the marble with an outstretched arm without struts uh would mean that they would just break off um that's and, really and interesting that, i never considered that yeah so when you see um uh, Roman marble copies of Greek bronze originals. That's why, say, the the spear bearers, the de, the deriferoi, and all these other ones, they have so many uh, struts and supports. Mm. So, like the random tree stump that you always see, that's oh, yeah. just to hold up the weight of the contrapposto position because uh, the marble can't withstand it. It would break at the ankles and fall over. Yeah, that makes uh, sense. There's so many interesting things about like the materiality of all of this stuff that um, until you like sometimes are explicitly told it, it's like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's, it's super logical. But yeah, you, you have to at least be imagining uh, like the guy on the right there with his arm out holding an ax and lunging. He has to be hollow cast bronze. Right. So. Yeah. All right, well, here's Daphne. Let's, uh, let's see what Daphne has to say about Apollo. Oh. How do I... Okay, there we go. Ah, water. I will bring you water, Daphne. I know I left one just down here. And I almost had taken water to it. Oh, shit. Who was... I think they're holocast, like... Oh, no. Murder.
Okay, so I guess there isn't any water down here because I smashed it. Uh, try the other side again. Run, little bit. Run, little bunny. Wee. Apollo guide my arrows. No, Apollo, don't guide his arrows. No, this is the way in. Ah, there we go. That's what I want. Oh no, no. No. Oh, you guys are coming to life. Yeah, get away from me. Oh, that's awesome. Creepy yeah. statue. Yeah, the, the Greeks would have been really into that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these. Oh, no. Not you as well. We have the whole Talos deal. Right. Uh, how do I. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that pisses me off. <laughs> Broke my water. I carried all the way. Ah. Is there one? Okay, all right. I wonder if I must be able to get through this. How do I give it to her though? Um, I'll, I'll just answer the question about reproductions taking liberties from the original Greek bronzes. Yes, uh, that's a super super big and interesting. Um, uh, topic. So uh, the Romans didn't just uh, faithfully copy Greek bronze originals, although they did do that as well, uh, especially with the Periphorus. But they would add stuff. They would, you know, um, maybe not necessarily improve. Uh, I don't know if they were thinking of it in that way, but but yeah, add context. So uh, there's uh, a few ones. There's um, uh, a, a, a cool Roman copy of a Greek bronze original, I forget the artist, maybe it's Polyclitus, but somebody like that, of Meliager the Hunter, and the Roman uh, copy is added, like this really crazy cape, and uh -huh. uh, his, uh, his, strut, his struts and supports have like um, boars, there's a, a sort of a big boar head support, and um, yeah, and, and some of these things, uh, can uh, be placed in, in context that would add to the scenario too, like putting your Meliager uh, hunter statue in a kind of foresty area of your villa, you know, this kind of thing. Um, so yeah, the, the Romans were, were adding and adapting and making it their own and changing things up all the time. Uh, and then of course you have to consider uh, the Greek bronze originals, when they're copied by Romans into marble, these uh, Roman marble copies would have been painted, and so uh, they could have added all kinds of different colors that the Greeks would have thought of. Uh, there is polychromy in Greek bronze originals, but um, yeah, um, added materials, etc. But it would look very, very different from uh, Roman marble copies that were painted. So yeah, definitely crazy. I see Difficult you bear stuff. no love for Apollo or his servants. Yeah. Ah, Apollo, even in this wooden armor, I cannot escape his lechery. When I was a naiad, he pursued me in the forest. Just before I fell prey to his lust, I prayed for mercy and was transformed into this laurel tree. Then what does he do? He tears me from the earth and plants me in his private gardens. Every day he comes to caress my branches. I am forever sick of his leering face and spidery fingers. An enemy of Apollo is clearly an ally of mine. Take this ward, an echo of Helios's brilliance. Though he may think otherwise, Apollo does not command all that is bright in this world. Yeah, uh, the the um lecherous apollo like father like son that's actually pretty uh, uh so many of apollo's myths uh um kind of kind of explicitly about that in a way of or implicitly i guess about him trying to be uh a, a new zeus or a, a 
a potential successor. Um, not necessarily directly challenging Apollo, uh, Zeus, but um, certainly doing things that uh, you would um, expect to see Zeus doing, but maybe just not quite as well. Oh, oil. Uh, not quite an Oedipus complex because he's not trying to sleep with Hera. Help! Help! Oh, that's true. Oh, that was unfortunate. captain or free the solar steeds let's maybe maybe i'll go to free the solace solar steeds solar steeds i see you stalking the light nope oh whoops i did not want to do that All right, I'm gonna free the solar steeds. This is exciting. <laughs> oh, but first I'm gonna smash some pots. Oh man. Yeah, I can't smash oh. that wine press though. Oh, I can smash that wine press. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so solar steeds, I like yeah. it. Ah, Apollo has dogs. Come on, little doggy. Nope, I missed that timing. And that one. Alright. Oh! That's gonna leave a mark. Oh. Oh, no! Oh, I killed that random person. Oh, this guy's Just got... Just a <laughs> Sir, you can stop that immediately. Forthwith. Showing the birth of Athena, which are now in the British Museum. Mm. With all the earthquakes, plagues, and famines we're throwing at them, I'm surprised the mortals have lasted this long. I don't know if you can see, but Help! Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. The pediment. <laughs> I can't. I can't orient the book properly. Uh. Uh, but it's got um, uh, in the triangular composition, uh, horses. Uh, the horses of Helios rising on one end, and then the horses of Selene of the moon uh, descending on the other end. Um, it's really incredible. Mm. Of course. Uh, uh, that guy. <laughs> really bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's a horse. I found a horse. Oh, yes. Aw. Oh. Sounded a little bit more like it crossed between a cow and a horn. <laughs> but I'm not going to judge. You do you. Little, little horsey. I see you stalking. The light reveals all. The destroyer have no mercy for intruders. Second horse. Guide my arrow. For the eye. The shadows will not help you. Serious for the honor guest of Apollo. The wrath of the illuminator. 
Text. Just getting some of these <laughs> healing potions in time. Oh no, I let it go. Oh, I see you blocked me. Pin him to the wall. I see you stalking. The light reveals all. No. They got me! They got me! I have to do it all again. You're like, well, I'll take it out on your pots. Yeah, uh, take that Apollo's pots. <laughs> yeah. I mean. So oh. these horses are kind of funny. They they look more like ponies or something. Like they have smaller faces. Um, horses are a huge deal on pots and um, these ones are kind of a little janky <laughs> uh, in the game, but they're cute. I like them. Oh, oops, sorry mate. Man, these The wrap of the illuminator shall burn you. Exploding arrows. The honor guest of Apollo. Yeah, he's still bleeding over there. <laughs> yeah, for having a pretty um, like stylistic art style, there's quite a lot that they do to sort of add an extra level of, uh, I guess, visceralness that you wouldn't necessarily expect from the style. Yeah, the explosions. There's a lot of explosions. Yeah, and the fire. Yeah, the fire was intense. Yeah. The fire would not stop. Nope. <laughs> get that pony. I gotta get that pony. <laughs> Be free, pony. Okay, I gotta run away from these guys a little bit. Let's see if I can double back and outfox them. Got him. All right, now I just gotta escape. See the violence in here in the system. Uh, escaped. So now I just have to take out his lieutenants, I think, and kill his lieutenants. I'm not sure what these things are. They seem to have some kind of effect on his soldiers, so. I see you stalking. The light reveals all. Servants' quarters. Apollo, oh. guide my arrow. <laughs> I <see> you. <laughs> I'm 
I'm not sure exactly what happened there, to be honest. This area is for the honor guest of Apollo. That's quite a run-up. Oh. Aim for the eye! Smashing the things. in there. I mean, it definitely looks like uh, Apollo is gearing up for some sort of war here. Oh. Uh, I'm on fire. With so many gods on Olympus now, is that no like a, a foundry a or an oven or something? It looks like it. You got a little ballista there or something and, a, and a, some kind of smelting arrangement here. Bomb! Ha ha! How do you like that? Money. Alright, and I've already destroyed all this. <laughs> I just, just, just jumped past me? It's a little weird. Okay. Oh, there's an extra level I didn't see below there. Oh, cool. Oh, whoops. No, I don't want to do that. I want you to get a sword. Thank you. Oops, no. Good. Okay. Across the rooftops in Apollo's house. Ah, uh, okay. I've been to the garden. Okay. Past all the statues. There we go. Yeah, that was a colossal. Yeah. Oh. Um, Stow it, Apollo. I see you skulking. The light reveals all. Pin him to the wall. Into the guardhouse. Oh, a little pink card over here. Apollo, guide my arrow. I see you stalking. The light reveals all. Pin him to the walls. Apollo, wise oh. one, your oracles force clear thought upon the desperate. I praise and honor you. Wow. <laughs> oh, I smash your meat and your face. Don't heal yourself. That was surprisingly easy. Yeah, take that table. Smash all the things. Smash all the things. Oh. Especially the sentry guns. <laughs> Help you here. 
Secret pantry. <laughs> of things to smash. Yes. <laughs> it's classic Apollo. The square uh, patterns on the walls. Um, hmm. Yeah, I was wondering about those those square patterns. Is that back this um, way? These? Uh, no, I think uh, the ones on the oh, upper level, up above, yeah. um, the, the co concentric ones, yeah, mm. they're, they're pretty cool. Um, they, yeah, they look like basically, uh, intricate meanders, really, I guess. They are, yeah. So, um, meanders in general are thought to be, uh, geometricized water patterns, I mm. guess, originally. Um, but... Yeah, just become a convention. I don't know. We, d I, I guess we don't know enough about Greek house interior decoration. There's not enough that survives, but it's possible they could have something like that. Yeah, Minoan stuff. Um, yeah, so we do have more wall decoration uh, from them in the palaces. Uh, so yeah, they have uh, big spiraling patterns that are similar. They're less square looking, um, but uh, yeah, th there's definitely a, a motif we get in Minoan frescoes uh, that resemble that. Spirals in particular. Okay. Haunted spear passes right through the flesh of the living, pierces multiple targets, damn. Greek fire. No. Oh. That's uncool. <laughs> you lured me. You kited me like an NPC. Oh, now I'm trapped. It's alright, I got it. Yeah, I got him. This dude. Oh, this thing. <laughs> trash it. Trash it all. <laughs> 
Trash everything. Nope. Drink all the potions. Is he on fire? It's probably some sort of potion. Ah, oh, I got him. Are we still in Apollo's house? I forget where we are. Yeah, this is Apollo's house. Uh, um, we've got to... Or well, maybe not his house. It's his barracks. We're going to take uh, out his three, three lieutenants. And this is the last thing we do before we, I guess, take out Apollo himself. That, that's weird. We have to take the out Apollo the others that... Um, dog feeding the deer again. Yeah, a little bit bigger this time it seems. Yeah, and I think they did it in a red figure and now it's in a black figure. Uh. Which is possible on some pottery. <laughs> uh, we call them bilingual pots. Hmm. Where you've got one side in black figure and then the same scene on the other side in red figure. Uh, sort of a transitional stage of the pottery. What kind of period does that happen in? Is that like a time thing or is it different in different places? Um, it, yeah, it seems to be when red figure was in Athens. Um, uh, around the time that red figure is just being developed and we see this uh by a, a painter that we call the endocides painter in mm -hmm. particular uh so it's around 520 uh bce and there's uh, some good examples um the museum of fine arts in boston has uh at least one or two of them um where you've got yeah Achilles and Ajax playing their game and black figure on one side and then red Apollo, figure on the other and there's another good Zeus. one by the same Bring painter to my arrows of to uh, Heracles and Beasting that's a really awesome one um, yeah so really tricky stuff to do in fact uh, to do um, one side in black figure and one side in red, red figure on the same pot yeah but yeah, it's the beginning, 530, 520, the uh, beginning of red figure. Oh, wall of Ajax. Nice. I think I want the sun disk though, sounds a bit better. Is the, um, is the MFA is their entire collection online? Wants to be. Yes, uh, the MFA has an amazing website. I actually uh, c helped contribute to it myself, mm. uh, putting uh, a lot of the images into the TMS, the museum system, uh, which uh, then was put online. Um, I, I worked on that a little bit in around 2004. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so they've got amazing images. Uh, almost, I think, almost the entire collection is online. Uh, if you want to publish anything, though, you do have to pay for licensing fees, which is kind of expensive. Yeah. Uh, hopefully that will change. That's already changing in Europe. But um, yeah, so the American websites uh, for the big museums like the MFA and uh, the Met in New York are spectacular. Uh, the Met has already into the like, put a lot of their ancient stuff into um, common use, so that's also awesome. um, a good resource or paper to real, read about shield art. Um, that's interesting. Uh, I, nothing off the top of my head. Um, I could try to look it up I guess and, and see uh, what there is but yeah there's some interesting shield motifs oh there's that um, yeah temple of Asia mm. again. okay so where do I I think I have to go back to the store here we go I gotta find a liar I forgot about the liar 
Yeah, I've used um, stuff from the MFA and the Met in um, class PowerPoints quite a lot. Uh, having when their uh, when their collections went online, it was it was pretty amazing because they have a lot of pretty cool stuff. Oh, we got a Discobolus of Myron. Oh Great. yeah, nice. Yeah, so that's that's a uh, actual sculpture, but they've done it as sort of a red figure painting. Um, nice. I guess Apollo has all the best stuff, all the best looted stuff in his house. <laughs> so yeah, that sculpture was from around 450, uh, high, high class. We've got some sort of dude with a liar with his hand over his head. That's not exactly, that's, um, I guess, an interpretation of a, a style. It's not an actual artwork. Is that one where to do that you would probably have to, um, or the uh, the arm wouldn't be supported, or? Um, yeah, you could do it in hollow cast. It looks like he's contrapposto as well, so that means that his weight is unevenly distributed. So uh, yeah, if you were to do that in marble, you would need a strut holding up the unsupported leg, or I guess yeah the you would need a strut by the straightened leg where the weight is being right. borne. Um, but yeah, the arm over the head in, in uh, classical art is normally uh, an indication of sleep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so a little bit messed up, the iconography. Um, collection um yes the um as far uh, there's a question about the collection being online uh i can speak more to the mfa than i can the met but yeah uh stuff that's not on show should also be online uh for the most of it it, it depends on if yeah there's a couple of fragments or something like that that hasn't been uh uploaded but yeah it should all be online in fact they've uh, the trend in museums right now is to take a lot of stuff off uh, the gallery floor uh, for ease of, um, I guess, the visitors don't want to be overwhelmed by just cabinets full of pots. They want to just see, or the idea is that um, visitors want to just see a couple of highlights. Have you no you know, patience for a uh, slow so death? That's hard for people oh, like me who want to actually be able to see everything and having stuff like removed and just a put pity. to the basement you more like, put them to the sword. Um, yeah, more empty space well, in the gallery. Now you have your audience frustrating. with the god but, of the sun. Yeah, so there's the god a of lot less stuff music. that's the god of glorious uh, actually on the floor itself. normally uh, these days. Uh, but and yeah, it should be online. A sweaty dirty creature in the shape um, of other, a god. Other museums like the uh, Minneapolis Institute of Art, they have a rotating collection, so uh, they have way more stuff than can be shown, so they'll like, yeah, rotate it in. Everything's always changing. Oh, okay, Apollo turned off the lights. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> I mean, we would already established he's a bit of a creeper. You dare to touch the sun. Yeah, that's a creeper. You dare to touch the sun. Oh, yeah. Touch you with my mace. He's throwing bombs. Where is he? I see oh, he's back up there. Slinking in the shadow. He just ignores walls. Hollow dirt bag. Yep. Now where's he gone? The smash is thrown up a little bit. Oh, now he's got a sword. Okay. Always my radiance will bear down on you. painted on the wall uh, looks more Minoan style, but again, we Let don't have a lot of evidence of... <laughs> oh god, he's got puns as well. <laughs> and 
this is as high as you climb, mortal. You dare to touch the sun. Oh, I smashed a shield. Smashed his furniture. I'm glad I have the shield that I think gives off light. I have already vanquished Helios. You are next. <laughs> oh. Always my oh. radiance will bear down on you. Oh no. <laughs> bombs. Ah oh, no, too many bombs. Stop with the bombs, Apollo. Yeah. I see you slinking in the shadows. Oh, he's almost dead. Where is he? There he is. He's throwing bombs at himself down there. He got too excited, thought it was too close. <laughs> this is as high as oh. you climb. Okay, where are you? Ah! Boom! Right in the face. Ah. The Lyre Apollo, gifted by the Infant Hermes. It's a warm glow at all times, even in total darkness. Nice. All right. So there goes the statue of Apollo. You vanquished him. Yep. All of, look at this. All of this rubble. Behold my works, ye mighty in despair. <laughs> I have trashed Olympus. Wait, this this still survives. Let no furnishing go untouched by my mighty mace. Yes. Haha. <laughs> so I think that means that we have no current objectives. There's so many oh, gods no, on Olympus okay. now. It's no wonder there isn't no, enough he's room just a, for all of us. Someone random. Uh, so this is this is probably a, a good time to, to call it a day. Um, having yeah, got through. Oh. Your stamina is amazing, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a little bit easier, I've got to say, when um, somebody else is doing a lot of the talking. So thank you so much for joining me, Marina. 
Uh, oh, thanks for having me. Yeah, really, I, really cool. I've been wanting to, to see for those this humans game play for years in my since river. it came out when I heard about it. So this is super fun. Yeah, it's been on my radar as well, but I haven't hadn't got around to it. And then uh, I sort of I think I picked it up on a, on a Steam sale relatively recently. Um, and I so I think you can get it on Steam. I think you can get it on. Um, uh, PlayStation as well. I'm not sure if it's available on any other platforms, but uh, if you're into platformers, uh, you'll probably have a. You've probably already played it. Uh, you might have a good idea about how it plays from seeing me play it, or you might not, because I'm not really a platform player. But um, thanks for joining us, everybody. Um, thanks for the expert commentary from Marina. Uh, I will do another stream at some point, picking up from at this point, maybe next week. I'm not sure. Uh, watch out on Twitter for notification of that, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to OBS and I'm gonna do that transition thing. So see you all later. Is there any place actually, before we, before we leave, is there any place that people can find you on the internet, Marina, if they want to say hi? Um, or... uh, not really. I'm not on Twitter and my Facebook is sort of a private account. Not, not, not really. Sorry. Cool. No, that's all right. Uh, one last thing actually we should do before we go. And that is the t-shirt show. Because we both have good classical t-shirts. Oh yeah, I actually just removed my the caption. That oh no! I <laughs> well, that's still good. So I so I'm petrifying the patriarchy, and uh, Marina. Well, um, yeah, mine says uh, "fuck the police, the police," <laughs> but uh, I had put um, "wash your hands," but uh, <laughs> instead, but yeah, uh, I kind of okay. So that's good. Wash your hands, everybody. Uh, stay safe. Uh, yeah. Be kind. Enjoy isolation. Stay inside. <laughs> and I'll see you all later on on the flip side. Ciao.